Hello everyone, we're going to begin the um, Wednesday night meeting. Before we start, we're just going to open in prayer. Can we get Angelo to open in prayer, please? So, so now we're gonna um, get some people that are sons and daughters of the living God to sing some songs unto the Lord. First, we're gonna start off with who should I pick to go first? I'm gonna pick Mark. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though we fall, though we fall, he shall not be cast down, for the Lord upholding him with his hand. With his hand, with his hand, for the Lord upholding him with his hand. Though we fall, though we fall, he shall not be cast down, for the Lord upholding him with his hand. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though we fall, though we fall, he shall not be cast down, for the Lord upholding him with his hand. With his hand, with his hand, for the Lord upholding him with his hand. Though we fall, though we fall, he shall not be cast down, for the Lord upholding him with his hand. Next, we're going to have John. Once I was lost, but now I am found. Jesus is the answer for me. He took me out of the darkness and he set me in his light. Now I am free, I will keep on praising my Lord. Praising my Lord, singing hallelujah, praising my Lord, singing hallelujah. Now I am free, I will keep on praising my Lord. Once I was lost, but now I am found. Jesus is the answer for me. He took me out of the darkness and he set me in his light. Now I am free, I will keep on praising my Lord. Praising my Lord, singing hallelujah, praising my Lord, singing hallelujah. Now I am free, I will keep on praising my Lord. Next we're going to have um, Marion and Tracy. And then, and then after that, we're going to go over to... Steph for a testimony. Um, 
I'm not promising anything, her, aren't we? <laughs> Just that one. Yeah, and that one. Oh, right. Oh. I just keep trusting my Lord as I walk along. I just keep trusting my Lord as He gives me a song. Though storm clouds darken the sky, oh the heavenly vow. I just keep trusting my Lord. He will never fail. He's a faithful friend, such a faithful friend. I can count on him to the very end. Though storm clouds darken the sky, all the heavenly just keep trusting my Lord, he will never fail. I just keep trusting my Lord as I walk along. I just keep trusting my Lord as he gives me a song. Though storm clouds darken the sky, oh the heavenly bell. I just keep trusting my Lord, he will never fail. He's a faithful friend, such a faithful friend. I can count on him to the very end. Though storm clouds darken the sky, oh the heavenly fire. I just keep trusting my Lord, he will never fail. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, I'll just introduce, introduce the testimony. Um, for anyone watching online, um, the testimony is um, Basically, what, how, how someone came to know um, the Lord Jesus Christ over to Stephanie. Steph. Um, hi, my name's Stephanie. Um, I grew up in Canada, and um, my uh, dad took me along to the Catholic Church when I was a baby, and um, I was christened as a baby as well, and. Um, when I was about three years old, my parents separated, and when I was four, they divorced, and I grew up living with my mom, who didn't go to church, and I saw my dad um, kind of every second weekend, and um, probably when I was around about five years old, someone witnessed to my dad, and um, he started going along to the revival um, church meetings, and um, he used to read me the Bible stories, and um, I liked I liked singing the songs with them and learning the Bible stories. And um, when I was about ten years old, I started asking some more questions to find out a bit more for myself about things, um, like what would happen if Jesus came back today, or what would happen if you died today, or if I died today, um, where would we go? And um, my younger cousin was coming along to meetings at the time and she started praying to receive the Holy Spirit and I thought, oh, she can't get it before me because she's younger than me. So I started praying um, and not with the right attitude, but um, I prayed for probably about a year and um, I went up in the prayer line uh, one day and I knew why I needed to receive the Holy Spirit and I that day I did um, I knew that because my language changed to a language that I've never learned before um, and I giggled because it sounded funny and I had a great um, joy in me and 
Um, I was really excited because I'd been um, praying to the Lord for a long time for it. And my dad said, well, you know that the Bible says you need to get baptized, but you're only 11, so and we should probably ask your mom if it's okay first. I was too scared to ask her, so I didn't for a long time. Uh, after a few months, my dad, no, I couldn't get baptized. And I was really, I, I wasn't surprised, as I knew that's what she would say, but I was really upset because I knew that I needed to be baptized, but I didn't want to make my mom upset either. Um, so I was, uh, I guess, kind of torn for a long time, and I kept having nightmares about like Jesus coming back and the world ending, and what if I didn't make it because I haven't been baptized yet. And um, someone else uh, had been coming along to a few meetings, and he wanted to get baptized and asked me if I would go along as well. And I said, yeah, okay, I'll get baptized too. <laughs> so I did. Um, in full immersion in water, and um, my mom didn't know about it for a while. Uh, she found out maybe a few years later. <laughs> um, yeah, um, but I just am glad that I have the Lord that I can pray to, and um, that we have the fellowship around the world. That um, yeah, that there's always family there for us. Uh, even though I'm living in the UK, far away from my family, I still have um, all of you guys here, <laughs> which is nice. Um, yeah, um, I guess like growing up uh, in Canada, the fellowship was really small and um, there, there wasn't anyone in the church my age. And so all of my friends were from school and they didn't really go to church, but the Lord really blessed the friendships that I had, and um, yeah, my friends, they didn't go out drinking or partying when other kids at school were doing that, and um, so I was able to just hang out with my friends and be comfortable and, and not have to worry about being pressured to do the wrong things, and sometimes people would invite me to parties, but um, I always had the confidence to be able to say, no, I don't do that. Um, and I know that the Lord was there with me to help me in that um, time as well. And um, I guess another testimony is when I was doing my university work, coursework, um, it came down to my last semester and I didn't quite have enough money in my bank account to pay for the last course that I needed to take. And I, I was praying about it and I was working part time uh, in the summer and I had about a month until I needed to pay for my final course and I knew that the amount of money that I would make in the summer wouldn't be enough to cover my course fee so I was just praying about it and um, I ended up getting an email saying that I'd won a contest on a teaching website <laughs> and I forgot that I'd even entered the contest and um, it was a thousand pounds, which w was when it converted into Canadian dollars, like exactly the amount that I needed for my course. And um, yeah, so they sent me a check in the mail. And um, when the check cleared at the bank, I was able to pay for my university fees. So, and um, yeah, it was really cool. So the Lord's just always with us, even in things that we um, don't think are possible and he provides a way. So I like to praise the Lord. Next, I'm going to go back into some songs. Um, next, we'll go Steve. Let go and let God have his wonderful way. Let go and let God have his way. 
Your burdens will vanish, your night turn to day. Let go and let God have his way. Not quite right. Let go and let God have his wonderful way. Let go and let God have his way. Your burdens will vanish, your night turn to day. Let go and let God have his way. Hey, hey. We're going to finish up with Robin and Monty. I've been waiting all my life for perfect governance To stand behind a leader in whom I've every confidence Patiently I wait for him, no distraction alters me I know that I will see it at the coming of the King Whether in this life or when I'm risen with him Whether in this life or when I'm risen with him Whether it's in this life or when I'm risen with him I'll be serving the King I don't know what my job will be, the captain or the maid Maybe I'll write the leading song to sound at his parade One thing that I know for sure in this life or his end I'll be serving the King whether in this life or when I'm risen with him, whether in this life or when I'm risen with him, whether it's in this life or when I'm risen with him, I'll be serving the king. There's one more verse, but it's all good. <laughs> Now we're going to hand over to our pastor, um, Monty. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Announcements. Okay. <laughs> so now, now we're going to hand over to the Monty um, to deliver the word. Um, if, if, you're, if you're watching new online, um, this is now the time where you can be fed spiritually with the word of God. Let's go. Okay. Okay, if you'd like to just move this. Open your Bibles to Isaiah chapter 11, I think. Let me just find it. Yeah, Isaiah 11. Let's start with time. So um, the kind of fairly simple talk, I suppose. Um, just want to look at wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Um, been reading quite a bit of proverbs recently so i think as we kind of all know that features heavily in proverbs um makes a lot of comparison between wisdom and folly um i want to have a look at just more generally wisdom understanding and knowledge so we'll get into that um isaiah chapter 11 verse 1 says uh, and there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of jesse and a branch shall grow out of his roots and the spirit of the lord shall rest on him uh, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. 
So this is obviously talking about um, Jesus. Um, and the first thing that I kind of noted when I was reading this is that the, the spirit of the Lord shall rest on him. And it's the same spirit that we've kind of got in us. Um, and that's the same way that the spirit comes to us as well. It rests on us. It's not an aggressive spirit. It's not um, the Holy Spirit's not there to tell us off when we go wrong, but it's, it's an encouragement. Um, and it's also good to know that the, um, the, the God that we serve um, and, and Jesus who um, kind of we look to for encouragement and um, it, this, is the, this is the comfort that, that we can have, that this spirit's on him, the spirit of wisdom, understanding, counsel and might, um, knowledge and the fear of the Lord. Um, and when I was younger, I think I gave a talk at a kid's camp once, a long time ago, um, and someone told me this quote, and it was, knowledge is knowing that a tomato is a fruit, but wisdom is not putting it in a fruit salad. And I quite liked that. I thought it was quite funny, made sense in my head. Um, but I suppose that spiritual wisdom, knowledge, and understanding um, Essentially, what I'm, I'll, I'll try and get to throughout the talk is that um, it, is, it really isn't defined. There are, there are no parameters for wisdom, knowledge and understanding, um, the spiritual kind anyway, because um, it, it depends on our situation. It depends on what's in front of us. Um, and it's a live thing that we can access this wisdom, knowledge and understanding through the spirit, which is alive in us. Um, whereby we'll be in different situations, we'll have different answers for those times. Um, so I suppose it's comforting as well for us to know that we're not, we're, we'll, we'll never know everything. We'll never know um, the end from the beginning. Um, and the, the more that kind of sits well within us, the more we can progress. Because if, you, if you're striving to, to know everything all the time when you're never gonna get there, um, I think you'll just become exhausted. Um, Go across to Proverbs chapter 24. And we, we live, as we know, kind of in an age of information and um, that, that should put us in a category of having the most, at least carnal knowledge um, that there has ever been. But there's, there's clearly a pressure in the world um, to answer why to absolutely everything. Um, you kind of if you do the scroll down on youtube it won't take you long before you find um lots of psychologists um telling you how to find yourself or how to be a better you um and a lot of that was probably quite good but it, it's so temporary and the the wisdom and knowledge and understanding that i want to talk about tonight is um is spiritual and it goes far beyond that um and when we find it when we're kind of diligent in our service to god and, um, and when we open our Bibles. Um, yeah, so wisdom's not knowing the answer to everything. It's kind of knowing where to turn, what to look for, what action to take, the kind of the process. And, and as we know, that process is fairly simple, if we can, just to hand it over to the Lord um, and diligently seek him. So Proverbs chapter 24, uh, let me get there myself, quite like this. Um, verses three to five through wisdom is a house builded and by understanding it is established and by knowledge shall the chambers be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. A wise man is strong. Yea, a man of knowledge increases strength. So it splits up um, in this house, what wisdom, understanding and knowledge do. Um, wisdom builds it, understanding establishes it and knowledge um, fills it with precious and pleasant riches and if a house is just builded and it's not established or doesn't have riches in it it's not a home and I think this is really descriptive of what a kind of spiritual home could be um, because there, there's a process that's been followed to to make the building the, the wisdom um, to have a solid structure the understanding establishes it and kind of very simple explanation of something being established is that it's a settlement um, and there's comfort and security in a place to rest. Um, and then there's, there's the joy of the home, I suppose, which is making it your own, where it's filled with all the uh, precious and pleasant riches. 
Um, yeah, as I was saying, that there's knowledge beyond what, what we have, um, even spiritually. Um, as it says in Jeremiah, the Lord searches the heart. He tries the reins. That's not something that we have access to. Um, so even more so, it's important that in every situation, we don't, we don't see wisdom, knowledge and understanding as if you do this, it will be fine. But more, if I look to the Lord um, and, and seek ad advice in that way and kind of be fairly malleable, um, that's where we can get out of that fixed mindset. And um, I think we can grow. Um, and as it says here, a wise man is strong. Um, knowledge increases strength. Um, there's other places in Proverbs where it encourages us to, um, to get or to find wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Um, and that's obviously good encouragement for us. Um, we'll go across to John chapter 20. In verse 30, it says, And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that you might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life through his name. Um, and beyond that now, we've got the Holy Spirit, um, that, that we might believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Um, and that gives us life. Um, I'm reading a book at the moment, which is... So actually, I'm getting towards the end of it, and I've realized it's just a bit soppy. Um, but I don't read much, so the fact that I'm nearly at the end of the book is something in itself. Um, but essentially what it is is a um, kind of a middle-aged couple who've had the perfect life. They had a plot of land. I think it's a true story. Plot of land in Wales, built their house, lived off the land, um, were fairly successful um, in that kind of sphere, very happy people. Um, and then the husband gets... Um, terminally sick um and they lose their they lose everything they lose the house um through some sort of court order which which went wrong um so depressing start um they the way they kind of try and address this problem um is that they put backpacks on and they go and walk to the southwest coast path um which is a 630 mile trek from um somerset to devon i think sorry, Somerset to um, Dorset. Um, so all around that coast. And the book's about them kind of, I think one of the, um, one of the reviews says, it shows um, the power of um, the regenerative, regenerative power of nature. And you think, yeah, I think there's probably something in that. And he, he actually slowly starts to get better on this walk. Um, and they kind of find themselves. Um, and we know that the world has some wisdom. It has some knowledge and understanding. Um, but our access to Jesus Christ, our access to that same um, wisdom, knowledge and understanding, the spirit of that, as we read in Isaiah, um, takes us kind of to the next step. It, in comparison, it's like their tent on the southwest coast path compared to our home, which was kind of described in Proverbs, which is fully kind of established um, and something that we should take comfort in. And when we come across our problems, um, which we will, is to, to seek those out. <clears throat> um, and we don't want that home to allow us to become set in our ways. Um, as we know, um, kind of being stagnant is not um, the spirit that's been given to us. Um, it's, it's quite the opposite, really. So we don't want to, um, again, this is why I think wisdom, knowledge and understanding can't be exactly defined, um, but rather it's important for us to know it's there. Um, it's accessible to us. Um, if we go across to First Thessalonians. In 
in chapter five. We know these verses very well. Uh, verse 16, we'll go down to 24. Uh, Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit, despise not prophesy prophesyings, um, prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, faithful is he that calls you, also who also will do it. Um, that describes a very active person. That's not someone who's um, in their home, um, which might have been established. So we, when we receive the Holy Spirit, we have access to that wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Um, but it, it really doesn't end there. And because we won't know everything, um, there's, there's always more for us to find out, um, whether we're in a good time or a bad time, I suppose. Um, so I think it's important for us to, um, as I say, be as malleable as possible. And going back to the, the first scripture where um, it was saying that the, the, the spirit of the Lord rests, is going to rest upon Jesus. Um, the more malleable we are, the more that, that resting spirit can have an effect on us. I was thinking on a hot day like today, if you put something fairly light on, I don't know, a, a, a cube of butter, it wouldn't take long for it to start slowly sinking into it and making a mark on it. Um, and that's what we want the spirit to have an impact on our lives. Um, and so I think it's important for us to not have such a fixed mindset, um, to, to kind of live our lives as, fr as free as possible from that. Um, obviously maintaining a vision, um, again, God given, um, and good intent in our heart. And I think if, if we get those things in line, it, it won't take us long for us to, kind of bump into this wisdom knowledge and understanding that the bible talks about and as the as the home is um decorated with the the riches um as it was saying in proverbs that's our that's our joy that's something we can um be um that, that we can take comfort in that we can share with others um and increase our faith um so yeah i suppose rounding it up a bit quicker than i intended it to be but i hope you get something out of it rounding up i think as in the scripture in proverbs these three things that we have access to this knowledge wisdom and understanding provide a solid established home which is constantly being filled with riches um and that's somewhere we want to be we don't want to be trying to find it on the southwest coast path or we don't want to be finding it um with a psychologist who can tell you why to a certain extent um we find our satisfaction and our joy through the lord who gives us our strength um, and in every situation, we can look for that um, with a with a clear mind, and um, we can be thankful for that. I'll leave it there. Thanks, Monty. Okay, spiritual gifts time. So we're looking to operate the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Uh, two of each for, for, for the short foreseeable future. Uh, Zoom is obviously ready and to unmute and uh, as, as the Lord gives you something to say, say it, please.
children and an engine will stay speed up unless they have already exhausted. And the body will die and I'm going to carry a little old one to the machine and she can hold on to that. With her, you can taste that butter and the fat. You can stick with it and just give it to her. The last time I saw the bad thing to do with that was a perfection on children they're uh, walking uh, in this world uh, without uh, uh, the oil of my Holy Spirit, without uh, uh, the, 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 the comfort and the, 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 the use of my Holy Spirit in the world. Uh, um, uh, you can't get both of if you want. So I say to my children, uh, there are those out there that uh, that would uh, would not know that there even be any Lord to ask them for Lord. Yeah, my people are say when they're at the end of a school year, um, there are many awards given out for attendance, saith the Lord, because there are many children who haven't missed a day 
uh, of school and they're rewarded for this thing, say the Lord. But indeed, I say to you, to accomplish things at school, it's not just attendance that's important, say the Lord. Indeed, they need to engage in the subjects that they're learning, say the Lord. They need to listen to the teacher and follow instructions, say the Lord, um, so they can achieve uh, maybe at the final exams the, um, the marks that they require, uh, say the Lord. And I say to you, uh, it is good for you to attend uh, the meeting, saith the Lord. But indeed, it's not just the only thing, saith the Lord. You need to engage with the word of God, saith the Lord. You need to take on board the instruction that, that you're given um, during the meeting, saith the Lord. Um, you need to listen to the Holy Spirit and be guided by the Spirit, saith the Lord. Because indeed, I say to you, uh, just like a child is expected uh, to grow from the basic things um, from when they begin, saith the Lord, by the end, uh, they will have... It, lots of knowledge, saith the Lord. And I say to you, it is the same with you. Um, when, you when you're first born again, you learn uh, the basics. But indeed, I say to you that I want you to grow in me, saith the Lord. I want you to go stronger and stronger and stronger each day. Stronger in faith, saith the Lord, that you may go out and do my will, saith the Lord. That you may perform the works of the Holy Spirit, uh, saith the Lord, in, not just in... Um, your own life, but in engaging with others, saith the Lord, your brothers and sisters and the people outside, saith the Lord. So indeed, I say to engage with me and engage with my word, saith the Lord. Amen. Okay, nice to see you, Utam. Uh, just announcement-wise, um, this Saturday, the stall's up again. Uh, John Bovis has taken it out. Uh, me and my family, we're going to London. Uh, so we could do with a bit of help. Uh, it's, it's, it's good if you can have two in the morning and two in the afternoon. Um, yeah, uh, it's got, we've got a little card machine, so somebody needs to be in charge of that. Uh, and then, and so see, John, if, 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 you, if you've got any time on Saturday, if you, if you want to do it, some people are going to do it in... in in time to come, they, 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 they've said that they will. Uh, so so we, we, we end up with six or eight people, eight or ten people, six or eight, that'd be great. Uh, the following Saturday, uh, we've got a prayer and fast with the Irish, um, which will be on Zoom. We'll do it on Zoom. We won't use the hall. Uh, the same format that we normally have. Uh, I think I think we'll get Anthony to look after it, pick the team and look after it. Uh, so far as um, Doddington goes, uh, they, they put a four-week kibosh on things on Monday, but not quite, actually. He did say at one time that, that he reserved the right to cut it short and they will check the figures after two weeks. Normally, what, they, what they've been saying is this date and no earlier. That's They've said that in, in the three stages of unlocking it in March, April and May. Three stages. It's always been this date and no earlier. Uh, and, and what they said on, on Monday was, was it's the 21st of uh, July 19th of July but they're going to review it after two weeks to see if they can do it earlier now we're supposed to be 16, 17, 18th of Doddington and the place is packed it's packed I've got plans for the Saturday nights after the, after the after the presentation we're going to have dog fighting and then I, I, the best idea ever after the dog fighting we're going to have baby boxing because uh, Yanni's coming with um, baby Samuel and Jonah's coming with, with, with uh, baby Erica Dan's baby's a bit big, so uh, maybe she can take me on. <laughs> we can have sumo. Because uh, they've always got little boxing gloves on, haven't they, the kids? And they're always in a little cot, which is like a ring. So you just think, just make something of it. So baby boxing it is. <laughs> anyway, so 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 um, uh, the plan is uh, not to let it go at the moment. Uh, the whole thing, you know, obviously people who, who have plans to go camping, they can go camping anyway. But it's not, it's not, it's not what we had plans at all. You know, we, we've got quite a good event planned there. About sixty odd people crammed into every corner, and and um, uh, so I'm going to contact Doddington, and the only thing we need to make sure is that financially we're okay. That that, that you know you can't you can't let it out to anyone else. If we can't have it, no one can have it. That the hostel, but the hostel, unless they do change the rules, is outside of the rules. Six indoors it is, and that's got about thirty in there. And um, uh, the other thing is, if if it doesn't go ahead, and I'm still as I say. I can't, I'm not going to let it go. Uh, the hope, the hope of it, I think, is 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 reasonable. Um, uh, you know, what we probably do is say, ah, look, what we've paid you, keep it. 
and, 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 and we'll have to pick of the dates next year because we've got some money on it. So, uh, uh, but yeah. All right. Tomorrow, John's got a, uh, a prayer meeting at 7.30. John Major's getting better. He says he'll be here on Sunday. Hope to see him tonight. New, new Sunday rotor. But, um, yeah. I'm sad. <laughs> I thought I was on cheesecake. I don't mind it. No, actually, I don't mind. I don't mind. I watched enough. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So if you if you if you want to do something particular uh, with the food and with the service, and um, we've got to keep it that way for a few more weeks. Uh, no, kind of no problem. Uh, when we sing, we're going to sing that hymn. We're definitely all going to sing that hymn, whether in this life, whether I'm the, the, the New Zealand one. Definitely, 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 definitely. Put foot down. If we don't sing that hymn, I'll be cross. <laughs> I'll bang the dishes when I'm downstairs. <laughs> let, let you know. Yeah. Uh, anything else? I, I think early, early in July as well, there is one Saturday. Uh, they've got a, an international convention in Adelaide. A, a, a physical one. Uh, well, it's not, it is a little bit international. You've got New Zealanders coming. Um, probably no one else around, around the world. Uh, but I think part of that will be available to us to watch. So I'm not sure exactly on the times. Uh, but they, but they're, they're great events. They're really great events. So, yeah. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. So if, if you want to do the stall this Saturday particularly, or any Saturday, if, if, if you let us know, it's good, good to work out. Because when we have the prayer and fast, we, will, we won't have it just a little bit too much that week and the, the other thing is I was out there on Monday actually I went and had a, a walk up and down the road on Monday and um, to see because uh, on, on, he would have got shoved down the end of the road and it wasn't that busy uh, I could, didn't see a load of students or anything like that I couldn't see uh, much difference uh, really so yeah anyway, we're not missing that much on a Monday but yeah all right Collins, you just close in prayer for us. Pray for us. Thank you for your goodness and kindness to us, and for the good of our fellowship. Thank you for your love and your goodness, and your understanding, and your comfort, and your understanding. You will have to find one thing that we need to do. Jesus, and this fellowship blessing, and this invitation. Amen. 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 Amen.